now we will discuss the effect of nitrates problem and how this nitrates is coming into our aquaculture ponds mainly our shrimp ponds and uh, what are the things really happening and <clears throat> so when you give the nitrogenous source to our pond it's like uh, in the form of field or in the form of uh, excreta all this uh, decomposed uh, wasted feed and the excreta turns into the organic sludge which produces the ammonia and ammonium ions and what happens after this so in the nitrogenous circle in the nitrogen the denitrification process the first step is it gets oxidized and converts to nitrite this is nitrite and the second step is it converts to nitrate and the bacteria which converts ammonia to nitrite is ammonia oxidizing bacteria and nitrite to nitrate is nitrite oxygen bacteria so this bacteria this nitrogen oxygen bacteria and the ammonia oxidizing bacteria and ammonia oxidizing bacteria is otherwise known as nitrosomonas and this is envob is nitrobacter and when it comes to the uh, exterior toxic effects nitrogen uh, ammonia is a site specific it's it's kind of toxic gas around the uh, pond uh, from the bottom but whereas nitrite is more 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 dangerous because it reacts with the circulatory and uh, um, the immune system of the animal it enters into the blood so our uh, when we are talking about the shrimp the blood is the copper hemocyanin so the nitrites oxidizes the copper molecule in the shrimp and it it gives a great toxic effect and you will see uh, a great mortality within days but we need to remove this nitrite using nitrogen oxidizing bacteria and it requires a lot of amount of oxygen for the nitrite oxidizing bacteria to convert nitrite into nitrate this is nitrate and this is not so harmful as 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 it was nitrite nitrate uh, is purposefully needed for shrimp for, for fish ponds and they use that poultry waste and uh, um, other organic manure to liberate that nitrates into the pond uh, environment to increase the levels of uh, useful algae and the natural plankton for fish but nitrite is harmful for both fish and shrimp and in case of fish it reacts with the hemoglobin molecule iron molecule in the hemoglobin so and the uh, red blood converts to brown blood and the fish dies so this is uh, it's not a spe- site specific but it attacks the immune system and circulatory system of the animal so we have in our r&d department we have uh, 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 isolated the envob 9 and envob 21 for removing this nitrite bacteria and we have uh, given five samples to five ponds uh, in five areas and we are checking it uh, what is the efficiency of um, uh, removal of nitro nitrites from the ponds so at different salinities we are getting the data in poorly oxygenated ponds especially where there is uh, the do levels are very normal uh, like uh, below 1 or below 2 this nitrification process is very slow and uh, uh, usually if the if the nitrate levels are greater, greater than 0.5 ppm it is going to be very very toxic and mainly uh, it comes out during the later stages of the crop especially after 60th day or after 65th day so in order to control this in many areas farmers are just applying salt and it works at some lands and it's not working at some areas uh, and even when it works like in the laboratory when it is falling below 0.5 ppm but uh, there is no data that the pond is being sustained for some growth period even though it it just masks for the la- in the laboratory report but the nitrate is not really being controlled because if the real nitrate is being controlled even applying after the salt the feed should be intake and the growth should happen but it's not happening and the farmer is finally harvesting he's not happy even with the salt because the culture is not going uh, in the growth period so in order to control this we need to have the envob bacteria with enough oxygenation so in our r&d department we have isolated envob nitrogen oxidation bacteria nitrate oxidation bacteria envob 9 and envob 21 so we are giving in laboratory scale we have really controlled the nitrate level and we got to see how the things are happening at different salinity levels and different areas so 
if you want me anything to discuss further you just shoot out an email to me and uh, we are a team of technicians and chemical engineers so we'll be a better resource for the betterment of the shrimp culture